My name is Deontre Jenkins. I live within the shelters underground. The current year is 2029. It is important that you understand what happened in the year 2020, shortly after the first Japanese U.S. President Yusuke Nozawa was elected into office, beating former President Donald Trump. It is important that you understand why humans are in hiding around the globe. It is important that you let what I'm about to tell you sink in. The nightmare began on the evening of June 17th, around 3.42 p.m. Everyone remembers what they were doing that day as their smartphones roared to life with the headlines. Giants attacking and devouring people. We didn't think that this was true, but it didn't take long for us to believe. The giant footsteps we heard outside our homes told us everything we needed to know. They entered our cities, devouring anyone unfortunate enough to be caught. These things, these titans, appeared out of nowhere and into other countries across the globe. Japan, China, Africa, Canada, Mexico, India, nowhere was safe. People were plucked from their cars, their homes, their hiding places as they sought refuge from the beings scaling as tall as 35 meters. Armies around the world did their best to fight them, but they only added to the carnage the titans wrought. Planes were swatted away like flies, tanks were picked up or toppled over, and the missiles? Reports were rampant over Titans having their heads completely blown off, only to rejuvenate within minutes. It was pandemonium, chaos. Stores were looted, and anarchy reigned briefly, only briefly. The Titans saw the that. As the Titans overwhelmed our forces and took our cities and countries with relative ease, those that were left could only watch and gasp with fear as our president of the U.S. ordered a nuclear strike upon the Titans. Other countries, hearing this news, elected to do the same, held back just to see how our luck would pass. Sadly, the nuclear strike took the lives of those still lingering in the city of Las Vegas and gave rise to a new problem, the radioactive titan. They spread deadly levels of radiation to any area they traversed to. People hiding not only had to worry about being devoured, but deadly radiation as well. Other countries learning of this news elected not to use any sort of nuclear arms against the creatures, lest the countries they sought to defend become nothing more than a dead, barren wasteland. Theories arose as to why these monsters appeared were many. They were sent by God to punish humankind for its abundance of sins. They were the vanguard of an invading alien army from another planet. They were Earth's way of cleaning itself of humankind. Credence was given to this theory by the simple fact that the Titans ignored any and all animal life. In fact, species that were endangered such as the koala, the rhino, the honeybee, and many others saw jumps in their numbers within three years. Without humans in areas where they dwelt, some Titans would merely sit there as if standing guard and animals were able to hunt and breed. Also, our ecosystem began to slowly but surely repair itself without humans present. The Titans were created by our governments we trust to lead us as a way to bring down humanity's numbers. Whatever theory one chose to believe, the fact was clear. Humankind was in danger and was the main course. Then one day, by sheer accident, a man by the name of Frederick Jaeger discovered the way to kill the Titans. His plane was clipped by a titan as he was fighting to protect his town. His wing cut deeply into the nape of one of them as it crashed down and as he ejected from his plane, saw that the titan did not get up again and nothing was left but its skeleton within minutes. Even with this exciting news, the titans were still far too much for our remaining forces. That was when our scientists and engineers came up with the solution for the new knowledge mankind acquired. We invented the ODM gear omnidirectional mobility gear. This new gear gave soldiers the ability to move with insane speeds while equipped with twin searing blades. With this, we were able to even the playing field against the Titans. Sadly, such equipment required three years of training, which by no means an easy task. Several had died during the training. Upon mastery, a new branch of military was founded, known as the Survey Corps, dedicated to killing Titans and taking back our world one portion at a time. The new ODM gear saw great strides in our ways of killing the giant monsters, but not much. The Titans are just too stubborn to die, almost like humans. 
It is unknown as to how they reproduce, if they do at all, considering they do not have sexual reproductive organs. My friend, it is important that you know that the Titans kill for the pleasure of it. They do not digest when they devour, rather, when they are full. They vomit whom they'd eaten and disgusting balls of flesh in the street then move on. It is important that you know that there is hope in beating these monsters. My dear friend Mike Zacharias said it best. So long as we keep putting up a fight, we haven't been beaten. I swear that man practices what he preaches. Samantha, if this recording finds its way back to you, I want you to know that I love you and the boys. Don't come up here and try to find me. Rest assured our area is almost the way we left it. Animals roam freely up here. The grass is tall, and vehicles remain where they were when abandoned on that day. Raise our boys well. If I... They're coming. I gotta go.